The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster of 2003 stands as a somber chapter in the history of space exploration, marked not only by the loss of the spacecraft and its crew, but also by the profound impact it had on individuals around the world. Among the seven astronauts aboard the ill-fated mission was Kalpana Chawla, an accomplished astronaut and the first woman of Indian origin in space. The Columbia disaster was the result of the Space Shuttle orbiter disintegrating during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Welcome to another episode of Purple Credence. The mission, designated STS-107, was the 113th space shuttle flight and was intended to conduct various scientific experiments in space. The crew consisted of seven astronauts, Commander Rick D. Husband, Pilot William C. McCool, Mission Specialist Michael P. Anderson, Mission Specialist David M. Brown, Mission Specialist Kalpana Chawla, Mission Specialist Laurel B. Clark, and Payload Specialist Ilan Ramon, the first Israeli astronaut. Born in Karnal, India on March 17, 1962, Kalpana Chawla exhibited a deep fascination with the skies from a young age. After earning a degree in aeronautical engineering, she moved to the United States to pursue her dream of becoming an astronaut. Chawla earned a Ph.D. in aerospace engineering and joined NASA in 1994. Chawla's journey to space began with her selection as an astronaut candidate in 1994. She completed rigorous training and made history in 1997 as the first woman of Indian origin in space during the STS-87 mission. Known for her dedication, intellect, and passion for space exploration, Chawla became a role model for aspiring astronauts and a source of inspiration for people worldwide. In 2003, Kalpana Chawla was selected for her second space flight, the STS-107 mission aboard the space shuttle Columbia. The primary objective of this mission was to conduct various scientific experiments in the areas of material science, life sciences, and Earth observation. Chawla's role included overseeing crucial experiments in the shuttle's payload bay. The tragic incident unfolded during the re-entry phase of the mission on February 1, 2003. As the shuttle re-entered Earth's atmosphere, it disintegrated over Texas, resulting in the loss of all seven crew members. The world watched in shock and disbelief as the events unfolded and the news of the Columbia disaster spread. The Space Shuttle Columbia lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center on January 16, 2003. The mission proceeded normally and the crew conducted numerous experiments in fields like fluid physics, biology, and astronomy during its 16-day orbital journey. On the day of the launch, a piece of foam insulation detached from the shuttle's external fuel tank and struck the left wing of the orbiter. This incident, captured by cameras, raised concerns among engineers at NASA, but the severity of the damage was initially underestimated. As Columbia re-entered Earth's atmosphere on February 1, 2003, temperatures rose significantly. The damaged left wing allowed superheated air to penetrate the shuttle, leading to the disintegration of the orbiter at an altitude of approximately 200,000 feet. The loss of the spacecraft and its crew was confirmed 16 minutes before the scheduled landing at the Kennedy Space Center. The foam strike during launch damaged the thermal protection system, specifically the reinforced carbon-carbon, RCC, panels on the left wing. The compromised thermal protection allowed the entry of hot gases during re-entry, leading to the catastrophic failure. NASA's management failed to adequately assess the potential risks associated with the foam strike. Communication breakdowns within the organization contributed to the underestimation of the severity of the situation. NASA's launch as scheduled culture and pressure to adhere to timelines may have influenced decision-making, leading to a lack of thorough inspection and analysis. Before the Columbia's ill-fated re-entry, some engineers at NASA had expressed concerns about the potential damage caused by the foam strike during launch. They had recommended using satellite imagery or Department of Defense telescopes to assess the extent of the damage. Unfortunately, these warnings were not heeded, contributing to the tragic outcome. Engineers had raised concerns about the potential for debris strikes during the early days of the Space Shuttle program. The foam strike on Columbia's left wing was not the first instance of foam shedding during launch. However, the normalization of such incidents and the belief that they posed minimal risk played a role in the disaster. The STS-107 mission, which ended in disaster, was one of the longest Space Shuttle missions, lasting 16 days. The extended duration meant that the shuttle spent more time in orbit, exposing it to additional risks and challenges, including wear and tear on its thermal protection system. The foam strike on Columbia was captured by onboard cameras during the shuttle's launch. However, despite having this footage, NASA did not fully grasp the severity of the damage until after the disaster. 
This event highlighted the importance of thorough analysis and communication of potential risks. The STS-107 mission included Ilan Ramon, the first Israeli astronaut. Ramon, a colonel in the Israeli Air Force, brought with him a small pencil sketch drawn by a Jewish boy named Peter Ginz, who perished in the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. This poignant symbol of hope was among the items lost in the tragedy. During the investigation, it was revealed that NASA had access to thermal imaging technology that could have been used to assess the shuttle's thermal protection system during its mission. However, this capability was not utilized, contributing to the failure to recognize the severity of the damage. The Columbia disaster led to the suspension of the space shuttle program for over two years. During this hiatus, astronauts and payloads were transported to the International Space Station aboard Russian Soyuz spacecraft, marking a significant disruption in the United States' human spaceflight capabilities. The space shuttle program did not include an emergency escape system for the crew during launch or re-entry. Unlike other crewed space vehicles, the shuttle's design lacked a mechanism for rapid evacuation in the event of a critical failure, potentially contributing to the inability of the crew to survive the disaster. Kalpana Chawla's untimely death was not only a loss for India and the United States, but for the entire global community. Her achievements, resilience, and commitment to space exploration left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. Chala's legacy endures through the scholarships, awards, and institutions named in her honor, perpetuating her inspiration for future generations. The loss of Kalpana Chawla and her fellow astronauts was deeply personal for their families, friends, and colleagues. Chala's tragic end was felt keenly in India, where she was celebrated as a national hero. Across the globe, people mourned the seven lives lost and reflected on the inherent risks of space exploration. In the aftermath of the Columbia disaster, NASA faced intense scrutiny and initiated a comprehensive investigation. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board, CAIB, identified organizational and safety issues leading to significant reforms within NASA. The agency implemented changes in communication, risk assessment, and safety protocols to prevent similar incidents in the future. The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster with Kalpana Chala at its center serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent risks and challenges of space exploration. As we remember Kalpana Chawla, we also honor the resilience of astronauts and the collective spirit of discovery that propels humanity toward the stars. The legacy of Kalpana Chawla continues to inspire aspiring astronauts and underscores the importance of continual improvement in space exploration safety. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button for new videos, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this information. And stay tuned for more enlightening content in the future.